Hi everyone, my name is Hirmand. And my name is Amin. We are in the VFMP 2018 class. We came across Ape's talk last year, and it helped us in the past. We hope you find this useful. So Amin, what are we discussing today? Let's talk about the action potential in the heart. This is such an important topic, because you know, we all have a heart, and our heart responds to all of our daily activities. Most of us take our heart for granted. We don't really think about what makes it tick. But the action potential is so complicated. How can we simplify it? Well, we can think of the heart's action potentials as dominoes. I really don't see how that analogy is relevant. Just be patient, and I'll show you in a couple of heartbeats. So, picture a row of dominoes waiting to be set in motion. This motion can only go one way, like how depolarization spreads in one direction, from atria to the Purkinje fibers. Mm, okay, that's interesting. But there is an exception. Oh great, an exception already? Yes, but I'll explain that later. Let's get back to the dominoes. So tipping the first domino over is like firing off an action potential from the SA node. Everything is set in motion. Okay, I can picture the domino's motion traveling along a path just like an action potential traveling through the heart. But what about depolarizing the right and left atria? How do you explain that with dominoes? Remember how the action potential spreads to both atria at the same time? It's just like dominoes splitting into two separate paths. Now I see. Afterwards, the dominoes join into a single line again, similar to the action potential converging at the atrioventricular node. Wait, the action potential slows down in the AV node. I bet you can't explain that with dominoes. Actually, we can. At this convergence, the dominoes are larger, with more space between them. This means that the rate of dominoes falling becomes slower, just like how we see the conduction speed decrease at the AV node. Okay, so let me get this straight. As the dominoes branch off again, they travel to the bundle of his and the bundle branches, and these dominoes collapse at a faster speed than the AV node. The action potential then depolarizes the ventricles at the same time. Yeah, you got it. Everyone knows that once dominoes have fallen, it takes some time to set them up again. Similarly, it takes time for the next action potential to occur because the refractory period prevents them from making the journey. This period lasts for 250 milliseconds at the resting heart rate. Repeat the cycle again and again, and what do we have? Heartbeat, with a rate of 60 to 100 beats per minute. So what can go wrong with this cycle? Well, if the dominoes are spaced out too much, then when one falls, it's not going to reach the next one. Wait, I learned about this the other day. Is this like a bundle branch block? Exactly. That clarifies it. What if someone triggers the dominoes at the opposite end of the path? Well, this is what happens when the SA node fails to fire, so the AV node is going to fire instead. Do you remember how we mentioned the dominoes can only collapse in one direction? Yeah, we said it goes from the atria to the Purkinje fibers. Right, but here's the exception. When the AV node takes over, the dominoes and the action potential travel in both directions backwards towards the SA node and atria, and forwards towards the ventricles. Awesome! This session has been really productive. We'll have to do this more often. Definitely. So, if you're trying to remember how the action potential influences the heart, just think of dominoes. I mean, that was a fun session today. Herman, that was a great time. We'd like to thank Dr. Cornea and the MedIT team for their support in creating this tutorial. Thanks for watching.